Ladies and gentlemen, good evening. Uh, this is Francois Victor uh, from the Nicky Nick New York TV. Thank you for being with us tonight as you are every Monday at 6 p.m. on channel 67, 42, 82, and 34. Tonight we have a special show, and uh, I mean special indeed because we have a special guest with us tonight. And uh, we are sitting with Mr. Uh, Wilkie uh, Cornelius, uh, a producer, a filmmaker, a man that have achieved, uh, you know, something which is, uh, you know, to be proud of, you know, as a Brooklynite. And I am, this is an honor to have uh, him uh, with us on the Nikki New York TV. Good evening, Wilkie. How do you doing? Oh, fine. How are you doing? Uh, it's a pleasure to be here. Thank you for the wonderful um, endorsement. <laughs> I'm honored to be here as well. Well, I, I, actually, Wilkie, I, I have heard from your... Uh, I, actually, I had a piece of what you have done, of your accomplishment. Okay. And then, uh, actually, I commend you for that. Thank uh, you. First of all, because... <clears throat> I'm sorry. This is a result of, uh, you know, tenacity. Mm -hmm. uh, and, 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 and also uh, a dream come come true mm -hmm. you know actually ladies and gentlemen if we talk about dream for as long as you can uh, Wilkie can remember you always had a dream to be a filmmaker to be in the uh, movie industry and he kept that dream alive and today he has realized a film uh, that you will see uh, pretty soon that will be out pretty soon even though they had a premiere in Brooklyn but that will be out there pretty soon. This is Single Hill, the name of the movie. Wilkie, allow me to ask because <coughs> that have caused some confusion for me in terms of uh, the title of, uh, of the film. Uh, it's a love story, uh -huh. I understand that, but also, but I, I, I can see yet how you come from with the, how you come with the, with the title, Single Hill. Oh, okay. Well, um, I, uh, I grew up in Flatbush, not too far from where we're filming at right now, Flatbush, Brooklyn. Um, and I moved to uh, part of Brooklyn, downtown Brooklyn, uh, bordering uh, Fort Greene and Clinton Hill. Uh -huh. And Clinton Hill uh, was a neighborhood where there were a lot of single people. It was a very single neighborhood. It was a type of neighborhood that when people graduated from college, they would, they would uh, find themselves there. So it was, it was a place where you could It's like have, a little village, right? Yeah, it's like, yeah, it's like an upwardly mobile village. And when I moved there, it was like uh, not as much as a residential uh, neighborhood. So you'd see people in their 20s, 30s, and 40s who were bachelors and bachelorettes yeah. and a lot of the uh, restaurants and nightlife and cultural life was um, geared uh, around the, um, the uh, subculture of... Okay. of of Clinton Hill, so I looked at it as a single neighborhood, so I always called it, I, I just kind of uh, got the name Single Hills to describe the neighborhood that I lived in, because I always said it was a very single neighborhood. So, but also, in other words, it, does it transpire, uh, more or less, uh, it, the story, because the story basically is two people in love, mm -hmm. and the, uh, the, the, the man kind of feel insecure and not decide, and couldn't decide yet if he wants to go to a serious relationship and start to distance himself from his girlfriend and therefore uh, and, and from there kind of sent the wrong message. I mean, I mean, a mixed message yeah. to her and then she stepped back. Mm -hmm. And then, as they say, like you know, you know what you have until you lose it. Yeah. And when when the girl start going away from him, and then then he start going cuckoo. Yeah. And, uh, <laughs> yeah. But is it is it some kind of a uh, I would say a, a, a observation uh, of. Uh, the village, the, the, the village people around you, the <laughs> neighborhoods, you know, uh -huh. the people in the hoods, or uh, is it just imagination, or just because actually I know that writers, thinkers, poets, they have a different kind of 
inspiration when it comes to writing mm -hmm. or uh, you know find out uh, you know a, a good story to give you either mm -hmm. fiction or real yeah. you know so was that a source of from your observation or well it was um, a combination of all the things you mentioned um, you know imagination I mean uh, you have to you have to begin with imagination like yes definitely you know a lot of people they always ask me, where did you start writing? How did that start? Because I, I say I'm a writer first. And I say, well, I was a daydreamer. I was a pretty good daydreamer. Not okay. really good at, not really good at math. Yes. But very good at very good daydreamer. <laughs> very good at daydreaming. Okay. And so you know, things always start someplace. Like where did my film career start? My father was an usher in a movie theater when I was a toddler. Okay. That probably had something to do with it because his love of of film translated to my love of film because he forced me to watch films as a, as a child. But now, um, so as far as Single Hills, the concept, the story of um, commitment and the fear of commitment, mostly from the man's point of view in this case, uh, part of it is imagination. Part of it is it's loosely based on my own experiences. Like I say, I, I think that we can all relate to being in that place of indecision in our well, lives. You're, you're, you're afraid to decide. Yeah, you know, I mean, <laughs> You know, it's like this indecision is the scariest thing in life. I mean, when when you go to college and, you know, everybody around you is declared, you know, when you first go, you got two years where you can play around, take liberal arts, and then... You know the word, you're leaving a platform and then go up to another one, even though you get older, mm -hmm. but you're still afraid to, to take... To, to take the next step. Yeah, I mean, is it too early or? Yeah, fear. Like I said, like you know, and I go off on these tangents. Forgive me, but um, it's like you know, when you're in school, and all your friends, you know, you're all hanging out and partying, and then one by one, everybody declares a major, and you still don't have a major, and it's the scariest thing. Oh my God, what am I going to do with my life? That's a, you know, that's a, that's the first thing. Or when you come out of school and you ha you hated your major. Oh my God, what am I going to do with my life? And then you get into a relationship, the beginning is cool, and it, you know you get to a point where, oh my God, what, what am I going to do with my life? Or what am I going to do with this relationship? And, it, and it's always uh, a sense, you know, there's always a sense of urgency to, to, to one way or the other to quit or to move on, especially if that other person you're in a relationship has decided, you know, and in this case, in Single Hills, the young lady She's, she knows what she wants, you know, and the, uh, and the gentleman, unfortunately, doesn't. So, uh, so uh, to answer, so a little bit of it was imagination. Some of it was based off, loosely based off of my own experiences. And just like the neighborhood, Single Hills, uh, experiences of people around me. Because, you know, okay. the people in my environment, because, um, you know, through conversations. And, um, but you see what's going on around. Yeah. You know, you, you, you and then you're based, based on that, uh, you know, you know, always the next guy's story anyway. Right? Yeah, exactly. And, you know, and, and it's it's something that trans, it, it, you know, it it uh, what is that word transcends? It transcends race. Uh, it transcends age. You know, um, when the film first uh, it, it had two premieres. I had one in Brooklyn, as we said, at uh, BAM, Brooklyn Academy of Music, in the New Voices and Black Cinema Film Festival. And it also premiered in Los Angeles at the Pan-African Film Festival, all yes, in the same, yes. same week. And I remember the first time seeing it, there was a gentleman many, many generations older than me, and he came up to me and he said, hey man, that I can relate to that story, man. That, you that's know, right. I had somebody in the. You decide. Yeah. Uh, you know, you have to decide. Like you know, all along life, you know, he's got yeah. the points. Like you know, you have to make yeah. a decision somehow or the other. Yeah. He was anyway, like, we'll be right back with uh, Wilkie, the producer, the writer. Producer, I like that. The, good. Yeah. <laughs> I like, producer, I like that. <laughs> of uh, Single Hill, a movie you need to see. Yeah, you need to see it. Yeah, uh, we're gonna go a little bit deeper through the uh, the story in a minute. I don't want to do this if you're gonna hold it against me. I know. I'm sorry. You're so beautiful. You know that. <laughs> What happened? I had a 
minute I'm happy thinking about you or, or, or thinking about your smile or whatever and then you know, it's not enough. I spend every single weekend at your house and you can't even introduce me as your girlfriend. So Jay, man, it's good, man. This is a good woman, bro. I know, man. I know. I need more time. You need more time? Right now, we just need some space. Man, don't give me that space, boy. Y'all yeah, don't want to sit on your mother. Man, she should be home from work by now. Lisa! Jay, what you gonna do? And I am gonna prove it, man. I loved you, you know that? Well, you had me and you let me go. I defeated my fear. Don't you act surprised? Just look into my eyes. Look into my eyes. Leave you confused. Let my lips show you the rules. If my lips make you unsure, then my arms will tell you more. And if my arms should stall, then my heart's gonna tell it all. Welcome back to the Nicky Nick New York TV. Francois Victor with you. Uh, thank you for being with us. And we have the pleasure to have with us Wilkie Cornelius. Actor, producer, writer. Not actor. Uh, obviously, <laughs> he's not an actor. But, uh, no. Writer, he, for, writer he's producer. A, he's the director. director, right? Yeah. He's, a, he's, the, he's the director. So he's not an actor, but he's telling people how to act. Yeah. <laughs> but anyway, um, it's a pleasure to have him with us. Uh, we were just discussing the 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 essence of the movie the single hero written uh in uh, directed by uh by wilkie uh, actually as we were saying wilkie this is a matter of decision mm -hmm. that you take in life uh, somebody you're afraid to take a you know to take a decision where most of the time uh the women are more secure or maybe foresee a lot earlier where they are going mm -hmm. you know than us mm -hmm. it's like you know just accept accept them to take a decision or take us take them along is some kind of a heavy responsibility that we are not ready to endorse mm -hmm. <laughs> right <laughs> so, <laughs> so guys <laughs> let me tell you this that 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 is for us well this is the uh, human right this yes, is, uh, yes this is human nature but however uh you had a you the, the show was premiered in brooklyn it was premiered in uh was that in chicago uh, uh, in, the, in los angeles in los angeles and in uh brooklyn at uh, at the, bam. Uh, yeah at bam yes tell me a little bit about the cast okay so how you came I, are these guys because i've seen most of them mm -hmm. i can't remember all the names that maybe you can give us a uh, um, a rundown mm -hmm. of the different names that you have. Uh, it seems that you may, they, these guys, they have been in the industry or at least have, just like you, have mm -hmm. made an effort to mm -hmm. be there and some of them are going places. Mm -hmm. Or not to say all of them are going places. Mm -hmm. I've seen just a little scene of that movie mm -hmm. and then they are playing, they, they act beautifully. Yeah. Well, I was, um, was very fortunate. Um, blessed, everything's a blessing. Very fortunate, very blessed to uh, have a, a, a great cast. And um, starting with the two leads, um, Crystal Hill, she's a, uh, the life, blood, the beauty, the essence of the film. She represents, uh, she represents the, the woman and women in general very beautifully uh, in a strong, graceful way. Uh, Crystal Hill, uh, she was in my play. Uh, actually, she was a friend of mine and um, didn't even know she was an actor. Like, we, I met her in um, Single Hill. Yeah. <laughs> I met her in Clinton Hill, um, you know, in the neighborhood. And, and then, you know, she said she was an actor. I was like, oh, okay, whatever. And, like, everybody's an actor. And she actually was, was uh, fantastic. And I was fortunate enough to have her in the, in the theater version yeah. of, single, of Single Hills. Because we forgot to mention that this, the movie was first... A play. Yes, I, I, it was in two thousand and four. Yes, it was based off a uh, play I wrote. I wrote and produced in two thousand and four, um, and and then when I uh, decided uh, to you know to make a, a to make film a, version, when I was able to make a film version, I uh, had um, known a quite a quite a bit of actors living in New York and being you know around the scene and. Um, J. Kyle Manze plays the lead. J. Uh, he's a wonderful actor, um, plays the part um, and represents the men well. <laughs> represents the vulnerability. But, yeah. 
and uh, and vulnerability I think is such a big word because in, in with black men in particular I think a lot of times uh, black men you don't see us in vo in emotionally vulnerable roles you okay. know because it's like you know if we're going through something with a woman we're not gonna call up our home you know we're gonna call up our homie or a friend and say hey man I'm going through it we're just gonna yeah just suck it we're up we're just gonna suck it up and you know, go in your house, and, and yeah, I'm not gonna say you, you're gonna cry about it. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you know, but tough. You know, tough guys do cry. I, I never do. You, you know. bet. Yes, I never cried in my life. But the thing is, um, so Single Hill shows what happens when the brother um, you really know, goes get hurt. And, yeah, when he when he's going through that pain, and it's it's putting a camera on him uh, day by day, following him when he's going through that. Uh, that self-inflicted pain, you know. That's right. You know, caused because uh, he takes it for he granted. He makes the first move. Yeah, well, you know, he takes, uh, you know, to sum up the, the, the plot, um, she wants to get serious, he doesn't, so she distances herself, and he decides, oh, I want her back, she doesn't want to come back, and then he goes through, uh, his life spirals out of control, it goes on this emotional roller coaster, and so J. Kyle Manze, uh, he was in uh, Denzel Washington, with Denzel Washington, he was in uh, American Gangster. He played uh, one of the brothers of the character um, uh, that Denzel played in that movie. And he's been in, on, the, on the scene in theater. He's an award-winning um, actor in the theater. Yeah, so I and, saw it, yeah. You know, NYU, NYU grad. And playing his best friend is uh, currently probably the most celebrated of the cast, Victor Williams. Mm -hmm. He's uh, remarkable. And remarkable as the best friend and the conscious, and as the brother who tries to keep the other brother um, from going out of control. Yeah, you know, he's the, okay. He's the best friend, the the uh, older brother figure. Father. At least he can balance. <laughs> yeah, he can balance things. Yeah, you know. And uh, Victor Williams, uh, you might know him uh, from his TV show called King of Queens. Mm -hmm. uh, he plays. The best friend of the lead character, Kevin James. Um, yeah, that's a tall guy. Yeah, the tall, tall guy, guy, the UPS guy. He UPS plays, guy. He plays Deacon. Uh, he plays Deacon on CBS's King of Queens. Okay. And I was uh, blessed. And, yeah, to, uh, to have a good day. Uh, yeah, blessed to, to have him. him. And, and there is that little lady that don't you forget that, you know, it seems that, you know, she's going somewhere. She, yeah. she came to New York. Yeah. Uh, and, and there's also um, Marion Bessier um, plays, uh, she plays someone that, uh, Jay runs into and she's a beautiful actress model uh, she was uh, in a film called Muslim uh, recently and she's going places uh, Marion Basir uh, you know beautiful wonderful talented actor actress model you know so the four of those um, actors uh, form the core of the film and then I had some um, it's a great cast some other members um, in the cast uh, like uh, Akintala, can't pronounce his last name, we call him AK, he, he plays uh, in the cast, um, you know, he's been around. Um, also Hisham Tafik, wonderful actor, plays um, in the cast, and Christina Weathersby is in the cast, just mentioning some of the cast, and then um, the soundtrack is, uh, the soundtrack is amazing. Uh, I had a, a Haitian brother, Junadia Chen, um, he, play, he uh, is a uh, award-winning producer and I was blessed to have him score the uh, you know the word you had you you really had a good a good uh, crew with you yeah had a yeah had a very good very good uh, crew and uh, you know Christopher Drummond uh, one of the co-producers and Mark Annette brother from Martinique <laughs> Mark Annette uh, did uh, a lot of the editing you know Adiel Scarmetta it's just throwing out some names of people okay. that were um, you know, along the, the long journey with me. We'll be right back with uh, Wilkie Cornelius, you know, for uh, the, uh, the next segment of Single Hill.